Hey guys, what's up? This is Jay Barr and in 10 minutes or less I'm going to show you how to pitch your samples without changing the timing for free in Machine A. Machine, Machine A? Machine? Later. Yo people, what's up? This is Jay Barr and this is Barr Creative. At least for now guys, I'm going to change the channel name to in 10 or less because if you've been watching if you've been subscribing you know my whole thing is to try to get you functional on whatever piece of software you're using in 10 minutes or less so I'm pumped up guys um, I've got big plans for this channel I want to make sure I'm putting out the best content I possibly can so please if you like what I'm doing please share it please send it off to a friend um, tell people about it uh, we're all music nerds together so um, all right cool so dude I'm really pumped this is the other thing too. I figured this out for uh, for my, myself this week and I was like, I gotta put this on the channel. So guys, if you've ever tried to sample, music. all right, so music. this is my little, my niece, Isla, and she's saying music. music. Um, she's about two-ish. And um, so you know that if you try to change the pitch on a sample, um, <clears throat> it shortens the sample. So let me show you what I mean. So let's say I go into um, keyboard mode here. Music. So we have that, but then if I go up an octave, Music. you can see that it's short. And if I hit it at the same time, Music. Music. Oop, I think it's... Music. 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 I must have it set up so that it's uh, no polyphony. But anyway, Music. you can hear the difference. Alright, so when that pitch goes up, it gets short. Well... <clears throat> Normally what you can do, or if, if you had all the plugins and everything, you can use a plugin in Machine called Contact, but the thing is if you just own the straight up machine, um, then you just get the demo version when it comes to playing your own samples, which is kind of lame actually, but anyway, that's the way it is. And so you don't actually have the ability to pitch shift samples without affecting the time, unless you own Apple Logic. So let me show you what I did. I have an Apple Logic. Um, actually, if you have GarageBand too, check it out. You might actually have this plugin. Um, so let's go down here and go to Apple. And if you scroll down, you'll see there's a pitch. AU pitch, audio unit pitch. And that's just, I, like I said, guys, I feel like I had these audio units before I owned Logic. I think they're packaged in the GarageBand. So even if you don't own Logic, but you're on Mac, you might have these in your computer buried somewhere, so you could do some searching. But if you have Logic, they should just appear, as long as you're in your preferences too. Like that's what the other thing you could do. You can go to preferences, and you could go to I think it's library or pl plugins, and you can see if it's buried in your computer somewhere. All right. So that's what I would do. I'd go preferences, and then plugins, and see if you have those audio units. If you have it or any other pitch audio unit, like any other thing that you can use for pitching, this is how you can set it up so that instead of it Music. getting shorter, Music. 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 no matter what pitch you play it at, the, the sample length stays the same. So I was like blown away when I was like, oh my god, that's it? Like it's that easy? So if you're using a machine, Music. what I have set up here Music. are the Music. four Music. pitched ones, Music. all right, and I've got these audio unit filters on, let me show you what it looked like if you started from scratch. So, I'm assuming you know enough to get the sample in and trim it and get it to where you want it to be. If you don't and you want to see a video on that, just leave a comment. I'll make another one and show you how to do that. But basically, this is the raw sample. I have it in uh, sound number nine in this group. And I'm actually going to copy this. This is before anything's been done. I just have it set up as a sampler. I've sliced it. If you want to see um, you know, how it's laid out, there's that. Uh, let's see, but I don't want to be in there right now. I want to actually copy this. So I'm going to copy and do Command V to paste. Command V to paste. I'm just going to make four of these. You can make 16 if you wanted to. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in that, that filter on each, the AU audio unit pitch filter. And actually, I should have put this on before I cut and pasted them because it would have went. And so that's what I recommend is put on the first one and then just cut and paste that because then you won't have to do what I'm doing right now and put it on every single one. So if you're doing 16, you definitely want to build this first and then copy and paste it out. All right, so now I have my four identical. All right, they're all the same. 
But what I want to do is this yes. one, I want it to go up a fifth. So I can go up and you can actually, uh, maybe you can't type it in. I thought you could, which that kind of that kind of stinks. But let's just open this thing up. So this is what it looks like. It's just that, guys. So I'm actually going to make this up five uh, semitones. By the way, it's in cents yes. on here. Yes. So you can hear the difference already. And if I play them at the same time. It will, I think it's on uh, monophonic. Um, sorry guys, I'm gonna mess with it. But there it is, you can see they're the same exact length. So that's up a fifth. Let's make another one up an octave. So I'll open that and I'll move it down so you can see it better. And we'll say, make this one go up. A whole octave and so since it's in cents you would have to do 1200 cents because that that's going to be the 12 semitones why is this being stupid um, let's see if that'll there we go I just needed to open it up a little bit this is like I said guys I figured this out this weekend I'm pumped on this so hopefully you guys are pumped too and then this last one will make it go down an octave all right so we'll start dragging this down and then we'll program it to be Negative 1200 cents. Now, anything over an octave up or down kind of makes it kind of degrades the sound to where it's almost unusable, but you could experiment with it. It's a two octave swing up, two octave swing down, and everything in between you have sense. You can actually literally tune this as well. So, like if you wanted to tune a sample to your song, and it like let's say it's someone singing in C, but your song's in F sharp, you can use that to tune your samples and just play your beat in the background and just drag the um, you know the pitch dial until it's tuned um, but check this out so there we go that's the bass up a fifth up an octave down an octave and you can see they're at the same they're the same duration so uh, my mind was blown with this um, so I hope this is helpful to you guys this is how you set up pitch shifting in machine without changing the length of the sample. And so again, what you do is you drag your sample in. I usually keep one as a bass tone that's like real time, real pitch. And then I copy that out. I add the Apple pitch audio unit. Um, and once I do that, I open the unit with the little arrow here so that I can adjust how much I want that tuned. Um, and so I hope this is helpful for you guys. And I mean, it sounds legit. I compared it to Contact, and it's not far off. Uh, Contact, I think, might have had a slightly better quality, but also you're going to spend hundreds on that. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. This is Jay Bar. Keep an eye out. I'm going to switch the channel over to in ten or less. It's coming soon. Um, and if you're already subscribed, don't worry about it. I think I set it up in a way to where you just hop over to that new channel and it's like nothing happened except for the name change. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you're seeing, please share it out. And I'll see you next time. J-Bar, later. Music.